Hello, my name is Dr. Slave Gallagher. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon with a special interest in gender affirmation surgery based in Miami, Florida. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what exactly happens uh, when you have an orchiectomy or a testicular removal. And oftentimes we'll see folks do this as a first step on their journey towards uh, bottom surgery, or it may be all that a trans feminine patient wants or needs to do as part of their gender and affirmation. And so in most cases, folks will have been on hormones for one year prior to orchiectomies. Sometimes exceptions can be made, for example, if a patient is having problems uh, with uh, test Testosterone blockers typically are the most common culprits, such as spironolactone. You can get a medical exemption uh, to this one-year rule. And so um, on the day of surgery, it's an outpatient procedure. Typically, uh, the patient will meet myself again, meet their anesthesiologist, and then we'll go off to sleep. And usually the surgery takes uh, under an hour uh, to do. The patient is typically completely asleep, and we do it through a little incision in the center of the scrotum about this big. There is a myth out there that it can interfere with bottom surgery later on and that's ab absolutely not the case. Um, once the patient wakes up typically they're able to go back to uh, either home or wherever they're staying about an hour after surgery. Usually uh, our patients we have them stay down here in Miami for about a week in total and they come back into the office we check on everything all the stitches are dissolvable and usually there's some swelling down there maybe a little bit of bruising but overall most patients say it's really not a painful surgery. Typically most folks go back to work about a week after surgery and um, things like uh, cycling a bike and tucking that's usually about four weeks after surgery but in general the downtime isn't too bad afterwards the patient can stop their testosterone blocker and um, usually the estrogen dose halves approximately after uh, orchiectomy but this can be a nice first step if somebody plans to do full vaginoplasty later on or it may be all a patient ever wants or needs uh, to do as part of her transition.